same railroad crossing. One truck, one train, one crash, and one video. Welcome to the November 2018 Callaway train crash. On November 21st, 2018, a TRE train, well known for having a very clean record, departed at Dallas' Union Station heading for Fort Worth and the TNP station nearby it. The train consisted of three bombardier coaches and F-59PH-120 leading. The train did its necessary stops at the stations before heading to Arlington. When the train reached Arlington, things started to go wrong. On the other hand, a tank truck was going through the Callaway Cemetery Road railroad crossing, but nothing too soon happened until the crossing lights activate, warning of the TRE train. Meanwhile, the TRE train thundered across the tracks, heading for the Callaway Cemetery Road railroad crossing where the tank truck was. The truck driver bailed out of his tank truck and then... <laughs> the train plows through the tank truck, tipping the tanker over and rupturing what was inside it while the truck itself remained upright with minor damage. The locomotive engine itself, however, was torched. An investigation was launched by the FRA, stating that the tank driver just completely ignored the red signals of the railroad crossing, thinking that it was a normal, ordinary malfunction, when in reality, it wasn't. The red lights indicate that a train is approaching, not a malfunction. In total, nine people are injured, including all three crew members inside the engine of 120. One of the cantilever mass signals were also damaged, but luckily this wasn't a big issue. Thierry was prone to having a clean safety record, but why did this happen? And it was proven that the driver just completely ignored the red signals at the railroad crossing. The tank truck was later disposed in the evening. As well as the cantilever mass signal being messed up, one of the gate lights on one of the signals was broken and two cross bucks on the cantilever were out. As for the worn out 120, it was taken to Montreal. In addition, it was put on a flat car instead of on the tracks itself. On the other hand, the Callaway Cemetery Road Railroad Crossing had some changes. The most notable change was the mass signal was fixed and put back in to service to work, which hopefully will improve safety on the railroad tracks. The signal gate light that was broken was repaired and put back in. The cross bucks on the cantilever were replaced, same with the one on the mass. Despite all the wreckage, it's a grim reminder to drivers who pass railroad crossings to look and listen. While Tiri 120 was out of service, an F40 PH numbered 330, which was an NX Amtrak locomotive, was put into service until Tiri 120 was repaired. Tiri 124 was out of service. The F40 PH that substituted this one was 310, also an EX Amtrak locomotive. 124 later returned in late 2019 with its number labels replaced. TRE 120 had its first crash and it was kind of sad to see it go. TRE was a diesel powered service for people to get from Fort Worth to Dallas in a matter of hours or minutes depending on how many passengers are on board the train. But then there's the TEX rail. What purpose does it serve? Here's info. TRE was one of a few diesel-fueled passenger trains located from Fort Worth to Dallas. A couple of trains also head to Denton and a few of them to other places. TRE also shared a station which also belonged to the DART light rail transportation authorities. There were four lines, yellow, green, red, and blue. 
And then there's the DCTA, also a passenger train, mainly for passengers going off the dark, heading to a different location somewhere else. Not to mention Amtrak also uses the stations downtown Fort Worth and T&P on its way to other places outside of Texas or other states. And Amtrak had several accidents since it was born in the 1980s, early 90s. There may still be a few F-42 DCs roaming around, but that isn't going to last because the SC-44 Siemens chargers are becoming more and more of a thing than the P-42 DCs, which all originally used to have the Phase 1 paint, and which now obtain their newest paint scheme until this. Even Florida Brightline uses SC-44s, well known as Brightline trains. It may have been two years since the crash of the TRE 120, but there are still things that need to be put into mind. It. Also, according to a YouTuber by the name of Jarvis Lee, he says that TRE 120 is going to be returning to service on October 23rd of 2019. No casualties, luckily. Tiri has been a fast working service since Geo Transit sold some of its F-59 PH and PHI locomotives. And to this day, there are several diesel engines that go to Dallas and other spots on the map. This was the current map on Dart Light Rail and then in the future services. The new maps are currently on the FTWTA rail system map and the Dart Light Rail rail system maps.